Yo, what's going on? I'm gonna do another cooking video for you. I'm gonna try and I think the majority of all the videos I did was how to stretch your buck. Now I'm gonna show you how to stretch a little bit farther. Uh, we're gonna do three meals in one. I'll do them uh, consecutively over the next couple days. But what we're gonna do here is we've got some chicken breasts and legs, and we're boiling them down to make stock. We have a, a nor bullion cube in here to give it a little extra flavor. We're going to take the meat out, we're going to strip the meat off the bones, and we're going to make chicken chimichangas. And then we're going to take another uh, section of the meat and we're going to uh, make chicken alfredo over pasta. Oh, and we're not done yet. And then the rest of the meat we're going to make chicken soup with. So this is going to be a threefer. You want to not reefer, get your head out of the bong. Uh, three for here. This way, you can make many, uh, many meals out of one thing, that one basic thing. The cool and the groovy thing about uh, boiling your own chicken to do stuff with is you have real chicken stock. You don't have to buy that crap in the in the in the carton. So, okay, it's been a half hour. Uh, our chicken's cooked. We're going to save the legs in the stock to make the Alfredo sauce and the um, chicken soup. We'll make that on a different day. Uh, so we're going to take the breasts out. And we're going to put them in an ice water bath. Now the reason that we're doing this is so we can cool it off and pick the meat off the bones and not burn our fingers. Okay, I'm going to show you everything you need now to, uh, to put this together. So basically we took the chicken, we put it in the ice water bath, and then we stripped it off, off the bones. And then we squeezed it out. You don't want it too wet. A um, cup and a half of refried beans, any brand you want. Two packages of Sazon. Some Worcestershire sauce. Uh, some hot sauce. I'm using Cutler Lover's uh, Scary Sharp Hot Sauce. Uh, it's hot, so I'm going to be careful with it. Um, pepper. Hungarian paprika. Um, a paintbrush with some water in there. Chunky salsa. A bowl, some flour tortillas, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Um, you can use white cheese or Monterey Jack, whatever you want. But uh, in this case, I have Parmesan around, and it'll it'll do it'll suit the job. Now into the bowl, we're going to put our refried beans. Add the chicken. These are going to be like chimichangas. Add a quarter cup of salsa. Two packages of Sazon. A tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is basically just like the tropic cheese, so it, it'll work out the same way. So you're making like a paste. 
uh, hot Hungarian paprika, about a, 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 a measuring teaspoon. A little bit of Liam Perrins, about a teaspoon. And now we're going to use Cutlery Lovers, <laughs> scary sharp. About a teaspoon. Okay, let me get myself a plate. Now we're going to start our burrito production. Now in the in the uh, flour tortilla, you have to heat it up. That way, it, it, it's a little bit more pliable. We'll put a little bit of the paste in there. I'm going to start to roll it up, but we're going to, before we roll it up, we're going to hit it with a little bit of water. Fold the ends in and roll it up. You can freeze these. That works out actually really well when you freeze them. And just take them out and microwave them just like you would uh, put them in butcher's paper like you'd get at 7-Eleven or something. Now you got four chimichangas, so let's microwave one and see how it comes out. All right, that was three minutes, 20 seconds in the microwave. Let's put a little salsa on top. Let's give it a try.
See? That looks just like the burrito you get in the store. Man, that's good. That blows the, the burrito you get in the store away because you use quality meat in there. It's not all that chicken byproduct crap. Mmm. I think they market uh, cutler lever sauce as a novelty sauce, like a hot sauce. But the thing that I found about it, it's hot. You gotta use it in moderation, but it's got some fantastic flavor. Mmm. That's a good chimichanga right there. Chimichanga, burrito, half ass taco, whatever you want to call it. Um, but great for late night munchies. And you know, it didn't it wasn't that hard. You saw it's not that hard. You're paying all that money almost $4 to get a burrito frozen from 7-Eleven when you can make a better quality product at home and put in it whatever you want. You could put habaneros in there, pepper jellies, anything you feel like putting in there. And the thing about the Parmesan cheese is it doesn't only have to be for Italian food. You can mix it with whatever you want. It's kind of a neutral taste. All right, guys, later.